Hello everyone. I'm Johnny Blaze. Hi. Now, why am I doing this video? I, well, I've been sick. <clears throat> you know, so I haven't been really get in the course of the new computer. I really haven't got a chance to upload anything. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you're going to see why I'm doing a video right away, right now. I just got. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. I can show it like this. Ah, fuck it. This in the mail. It's the PS3 break, and I'm going to show you guys how to work it because there's no real tutorial on the internet about this little device right here because everybody seems to always have a fucking calculator or a cell phone. I don't have any of that shit. Um. I have a small smattering of PS3 games, but I picked one out that I'm going to use the test with, and that's MotorStorm. You see right there. Good. Okay. And I'm going to use also my copy of SmackDown 09 to run it. Now, you're going to see a tutorial. No Chinese. No language you can't understand. American. That's right. You heard me. I said, American. American. No, that's not American. Now I want American music. Help is good, help is hard to find these days. I want to hear American. That's right, America. What the hell are you doing? Oh, never mind. America, brother. See, I could get over doing this too. Yeah. I can get over doing that. Okay, enough with the bullshit. Um, time to get this fucking thing to work. Okay, now. I'm going to go over here. It's my PS3. Big reminder, it needs to be at 341. If it's not, you're screwed. Now, if you're a little less than 341, uh, ps3break.com has the package file. You know, the update, you just got to make a folder on. Your card has to be fat. Anything you plug in this thing has to be fat 32. Whether it be in a USB, hard drive, or whatever. I'll get into that later on. Now you need to have you need to have your PS3 updated. If you download through that site, you have to make a folder on the root of the card, PS3, then make another folder in that says update, then put the PS3 update in there. You also need that if you're going to upgrade the hard drive, which was the pain in the ass with this thing. Okay. For this operation, first you'll need the power taken off. Doesn't matter if the cord, the TV cord's still in there, as long as the power's cut. You need this little device right here. I just found out this is not a regular USB device. So you can't put anything on it. So in this case, you'll need a small drive, like I got my small SD card, with the package file with the backup manager on the root. It has to be on the root because if it's not, it won't work. Plug that into the second slot. Make sure everything's in there. Plug the PS3 break in the first USB slot. It's really important, you have to follow like I'm teaching you. Put the power back in. Really important, pay attention. Power, eject. There has to be no disk in the drive at all. If you have a disk in the drive, it will not work. See the power light starting to flicker? It's a good sign. I mean, it's jailbreaking it. Watch this. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Let's turn this off. Obviously, you can't have any other thing in the device. So I'm going to cut the power off again, and we're going to try this again. See, trial by error. I'm not perfect, my friend. I got it working before. There we go. That's the light you need. So obviously you can't have anything else in the system when you're booting it up. Very important. We just learned that lesson, children. I don't give a shit about the time because I'm going to split it if I need to. Now put your second drive in there. Okay. See? Green light on. Backup manager in. Once it's installed on the hard drive, you don't need it again. My 6-axis. Or I should say my dual shock. It'd be helpful if I turn the fucking controller on. Until it's jailbroken. Install package files. X button. There's the manager. X button again. And there it is. Ta-da! Hey, look at that. Ah-ha! Yeah! Alright. Now, so part two is probably going to be starting it up. Because I'm not going to leave this video going while I'm fucking... I'm pretty sure I could take this out. Ah. See, it's still there, so... But you have to keep the dongle in at all times. Very important. But now that the backup manager's been installed, I don't have to worry about it. Here's my copy of MotorStorm. This is going to be used as the test disc is the first one that, you know, is out. The rest is in boxes. I just redid this room, so they're in boxes. Okay. Pop it in. Alright. As you can see... Motor storm has appeared. <coughs> now we're going to go to backup manager. Press X. Just give it a minute. The legal mumbo jumbo. Just click yes. This is another place a lot of people get stuck. Just press down. We're going to back it up. I have an internal drive. I'm not using external. Circle. Back up to internal hard disk. Yes. X for enter. And there you go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a few things uh, you need to know. I mean, we got only two minutes to cover it, so I'm going to go through it real quick. Number one, heavy rain, I don't have it, number one. Number two, I don't want it. Number three, it's too much of a pain in the ass to get it to work. Um, so I don't even fucking bother with it. Don't ask me how to get it to work. If you really want it so bad, just find out on your own. Um, wow, it's really going really fast. I'm impressed. Anyway, <coughs> um... Anything that, like I said, anything that's plugged into here needs to be FAT32. So if you're putting games to the external, FAT32. NTFS isn't supported yet. So it basically, well here's probably the big files right now. Um, anything that's over 4 gigs will not fit. Like there's certain PS3 games that are over 4 gigs. It will not fit. So... It's better for you to also spend the hundred dollars to get a 640 drive for this thing. You'll still have 529 gigs. It's better to use it that way. 